Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to install and configure DNS server on CentOS 7. We use DNS for name resolution, IP to name and name to IP. We, we use package for installing DNS is called bind and bind stand for Barclay Internet Name Domain. So let's start how we can install and configure DNS. This is my CentOS 7 machine and it's having a minimal install on this machine. So let's install some basic packages. I have configured a local repository on this server. Once, I, once the, all the packages are installed, let's install the bind packages for our DNS server. So this is the bind package. Now the package is installed on our system. Let's disable, let's first check the SC Linux is disabled or not. If it's not disabled, then please disable it. It's disabled here. I'm going to disable the firewall as well. If you continue with your uh, firewall, then later you can add the port of the DNS in the firewall. So that uh, this firewall allow the DNS traffic from other machines. Firewall is disabled. So now let's open the main configuration file. Now here on the listen ports, add the IP address of our DNS server. We are going to make uh, this system as the primary or the master DNS server. So I'm, I have just added the IP address of our master server and for allow query right now, it's, uh, it's mentioned as local host, but if you want, uh, to allow clients from uh, your network to query this DNS for IP or name IP to name resolution, then you can add the network here like this, or you can do one thing. Now it will query for local host as well as for the network clients. So this is my network. So I have added the network entry here. Save this configuration file. Now the next is we need to create the zone file. So for this open configuration file. This is the configuration file. Come to the end of the file and here mention the zone. So first I'm going to define the forward lookup zone. Example.com is my domain name, which I've taken in, in this video. Type is the master. then enter the file location my file location is under where named and i am giving the forward lookup zone mention the file name as example.fwd this is my forward lookup zone file and allow update I'm putting here as 
none because this is the master server that's why we need to put none here and next is so my forward lookup zone entry is done so let's create a lookup zone entry like this type is master and the location of our reverse lookup zone file I am giving as reverse rev allow update none so in this way you can define the zone file for forward and lookup zone save this file now let's define the zone file file as and here make an entry for our forward zoom lookup zone So this is at the rate define the domain name start of authority and here start of authority and here just put the domain name example.com and in this at the rate just mention the authority server of this domain is the server.example.com that is the master domain and the a record define the host name to ip address so server.example.com is the server is the host name and having the ip address 41 and here the secondary is the secondary host having ip address 32 i'm having one more host mail that is having an record or the ip address 40 and if you are having any mail server you can make an entry like this at the rate is the domain name that is example.com mx is mail exchanger 0 is the priority uh, 0 is the highest priority so mail.example.com is the host name where the mail is mail server is running on that on this machine mail server is running for so in this way if this line define that for example.com the mail server is located on here on this host and c name is uh, the canonical name it is the alias of the real host name of a computer it is needed when multiple domain names are resolved to one and the same ip address by dns server so suppose on this server server.examples.com having multiple servers are running like i am running a website and running a ftp server so i can give the canonical name and mention the www so it will point so it uh, when we enter www.example.com it point to server.example.com so so we can uh, we can resolve multiple domain names to one particular ip address that is this one so that's why we use the canonical name so i have just set up the entry here so in this way you can set the end set up the entry in the forward lookup zone save this Now let's create the reverse lookup zone file. In 
the same way let's define here so this is the name server of for example.com that is server.example.com the ptr record define the ip address to host name this is the ip address and this is the host name 32 is the secondary ip and 44 the mail so in uh, so the ptr define the ip address to host name or you can say the reverse lookup for uh, our this server so in this way you can define the reverse lookup file save this file and after this you have to change the ownership of the file let me show you if you look at here the group name is group and owner both are root so we have to change the group here so change the ownership here for both the file now let's restart the service check the status our service is running perfectly now next thing is we need to define the name server in our resolve.com file so this is our name server save this file and now let's check whether our DNS is working fine or not is not listening as of now so we need to check okay as you can see friend that we saw this error it cannot find example.com why because we missed one entry in the forward lookup zone so we need to book that entry after that we can resolve this here you need to add the a record for example.com after that it will resolve this way save this file and restart the service now as you can see our DNS is working perfectly let's check the canonical name here ftp.example.com so as you can see when we try to resolve ftp.example.com it point to server.example.com in the same way if uh, check www.example.com it again point to server.example.com so in this way the multiple domain name can resolve to one ip address or to one host name like this so suppose we have one website running on this www.example.com one ftp server running on this so both this point to server.example.com so in this way you can define the canonical name and let's check the our mail server so for this you have to put set query is equal to mx and we query mx for example.com domain and it point that for example.com the mail server is at mail.example.com 
so this is the host name where the mail server is running for example.com domain so in this way you can query let's check the reverse lookup file you can say the reverse lookup point to this same way there is one more command dig so this dig command also resolve the IP address 31.2 server.example.com so in this way both reverse and forward lookup are working perfectly that is we can easily resolve name to IP and IP to name so in this way you can configure the DNS server on your on the CentOS 7 so that's all in this video if you like this video then please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching and have a good day